Hi guys, today we're going to be making an easy summer corn chowder. These are the items that you're gonna need. I have four strips of bacon. I took off uh, five ears of corn. I have one yellow bell pepper, one red bell pepper, half an onion, and a bunch of radishes. In this back corner, I reserved a cup of corn and a cup of chicken broth because I'm going to blend that to make uh, the thickener. Salt and pepper, butter, a fourth a cup of flour, two cups of milk, and for the chicken stock, it's gonna be a total of four cups. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is put our bacon into our pot and we're going to render its fat and then take it out. Now that we've got our bacon nice and crispy, we're going to take it out, put some butter in, and the vegetables. our onions, bell peppers, and our radish. I'm going to let these cook for about a minute just to get them a little soft. And then we're going to put the flour and the liquid. Right now I'm going to put salt and pepper in as well. And it's just salt and pepper to taste. You want to season each layer uh, that you're cooking. goes our flour. And you want to cook the flour just for a little bit so you don't have any raw flour taste in your soup. I'm gonna add the milk and I'm gonna keep stirring it until it gets uh, thick. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. So it doesn't bring the heat of my pot down too much. rest of the milk going in. I have my stove on medium high. I want to bring this to a boil. And really scrape the bottom of your pan with like your wooden utensil or if you're using a plastic one to get up all the good bits that were uh, on the bottom of your pan from the bacon. And you can see it's, it's thickening up.
Now I'm gonna add in the chicken stock and the corn. We're gonna let this, we're gonna lower the heat and we're gonna let it simmer for about 25 minutes. And then the reserved corn and chicken broth that I have, I'm gonna blend that up and put it in the pot. It's been about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna put my blended corn in here and that's gonna help thicken it up even more. I'm gonna let this simmer for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna top it with some cheese and bacon. All right guys, here's the finished product. I put uh, some cheese and some bacon on top and we are good to go. Hope you guys enjoy.